dare to play. Phew, finally made it to town. Oh, it's freezing out here. Hi there, are you Miss Silva? Finally, she arrives. I think I'm half made of ice at this point. So, you're Nancy, huh? I'm Dagny. I'm part of the ship restoration team, the one who called you in. You can call me Boss Lady if you want. Or My Queen. Or Dagny, whatevs. Uh, let's go with Dagny for now, and work our way up to the big stuff. <laughs> Can I help? Yes. Find my missing, skeeving, backstabbing business partner, Magnus. I'm sensing you're a little stressed out about this. Ugh! I'm so mad I've been an inch away from setting this town on fire. On fire? Are you okay? What? Oh, just a fire comment. I, I thought... Metaphors, Nancy. Keep up with me here. So listen. Right now, I'm focused on this town, Skibrot. There's this ship in town that was being rebuilt. Real old, 18th century. I offered to sponsor the rebuilding project to get the ship floating again. Mostly because I'm super nice and cool like that. But also because there's a rumor about treasure on board worth millions. Magnus, the man in charge of the project, and my business partner, promised we'd find it and split the earnings. But he's gone missing now? Yep and left me looking like a fool. When did he vanish? He disappeared some time before our ship crashed into the harbor. They say he must have fallen in the water, but the guy sails for a living. You know what sailors don't do? Drown. That doesn't prove he disappeared on his own. After enough time in the biz, a girl knows when she's being backstabbed. If he did find the treasure, I need you to track down Magnus and make him play fair. And if I find the treasure, I'll find Magnus. Yes. The key to finding the treasure is learning about that ship. So everything's interconnected. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. Can I take a look at the ship? Technically, yes. Awesome. How do I get on board? By not being me, apparently. Elizabeth controls the ship, and she hates my guts. She removed the gangway to my ship that I paid for. Did she give you a reason? Oh, something about her family line, and ancient blood feuds, and murders, and, you know, normal boring stuff. Talk to Soren, the festival organizer. He'll make sure she lets you on. What do people in town think about Magnus's disappearance? They're all like, ooh, the ocean is super dangerous in the winter, and ooh, hypothermia, and blah blah blah. You know, Icelander stuff. But without a body... You're still convinced he faked his death. Yep. Which apparently doesn't take a lot of work in Iceland. How'd you meet Magnus? I heard about the rumor of the treasure through my connections. Then I approached him. He's a hard guy to pin down, that Magnus. Turns out he's been looking for the treasure for years. I just happened to come in at an opportune moment. What would Magnus do with a treasure? Desperately wants to buy his own ship. He's a ship guy. Ship guys are like that. So the ship he helped rebuild isn't his? We funded it, but it's town property. Bye-bye. Toodles. The gangway is missing. There's no way on board. Looks like this dinghy's in good shape. I wonder who owns it. Busted. 
Can't take it anywhere like this. Blindly playing mechanic could get me seriously hurt. I need to figure out how to fix it first. If this section of the original ship was removed, then maybe others were too. Hi there. I'm looking for Soren. You must be Nancy. I'm Soren, the organizer of the Ancestors Festival. I run the Culture Center here in Skiprot. Nice to meet you. Can you help me get onto the ship? Ah, the Herlikide. Is Elizabeth not manning the gangway? The gangway's missing, unfortunately. Oh, dear. Well, that's highly unusual. I'll take care of it straight away for you. Elizabeth is a rose, truly. But she does have thorns. What do you think happened to Magnus? I admit I haven't the faintest idea. That man's mind is a hive of mysteries, an enigma, an impenetrable den. So you two never really talked? <laughs> An understatement. Why, the man hardly spoke ten words to me the entire time I knew him. I do hope he's all right, though. If he were to turn up, say, less than alive, it would spell bad news for me. I'm already disliked, and it would only show the others how easy it is to make someone disappear. Do you have anything which might help with my investigation? Hmm. If I'm not in town, I'm always locked up in here. I do have some very nice pamphlets, though. The Pamphlet Lover's Journal rated them a 9 star out of 10. <laughs> I put them together myself. Here's one for your troubles. Well, it's hard to turn down an award-winning pamphlet. <laughs> I'll see if I can make use of this. Thanks, Soren. What is this place? This is my battle station. The place where I endeavor to fight my way through the thickest mysteries of Icelandic history. Here, confusing ancient shipwrecks and obscure writings from millennia past are converted into knowledge and truth. Also, I have swords. So, you're a historian, archaeologist? A bit of both. I dabble. I spent some years at Harvard pursuing my doctorate in Viking history before returning to Skiprot for research. I'm one of the only few to ever travel in this town. Everyone here should try it sometime. Really shakes up the old bag of prejudices. I guess that explains why you don't have much of an accent. Oh, quite. <laughs> Tell me about your research. Sharp things. Ceremonial sharp things. Wedding spears. Funeral spears. New baby celebration daggers birthday axes, congrats bows. Turns out, Vikings have a lot of weapons for every occasion. Nothing says I love you like a new murder tool. <laughs> Most of these can be found on shipwrecks or near burial sites. Luckily, there are no lack of those in these parts, so I've got plenty of work to do. <laughs> Old Gudrun over there is my favorite of all. She's a replica, not an original. I use her to knock icicles off the roof. Bye-bye. Well, on with it. I need to match each sail to its name.
Could you finish setting up the knots display? You just need to match the images to the knot they create. I do it myself, but I don't have the time. Sure, leave it to me. Perfect. Soren should be happy about this. Gunpowder. Looks like someone wrote a note for themselves. Only one signature? Ouch. Well, maybe I should sign. That'll show them. I'm a political force to be reckoned with. Wow, I'd hate to be on the chopping end of one of those blades. I could use a little space, Nancy. Everything in the gift shop is available for purchase. Hey! Who let you on board? If you're here for the festival, it's cancelled. I didn't mean to intrude. I'd just like to have a look around, if that's okay. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a visitor. I know you're a tourist. We're a town of 300. I'm not a tourist. I'm here to investigate. Thanks for setting up that gangway for me, by the way. The gangway was meant for Soren. I didn't know he planned to let strangers on board. Are you with that snake of a woman? It's complicated. If you're after just the gold, I want nothing to do with you. Leave. Wait, I'm not after any treasure. I just want to help find Magnus. Magnus? Look, I think we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Maybe I should start over. My name's Nancy. It's really nice to meet you. I'm Elizabeth. I run the Misty Skip pub in town. What do you want with Magnus? Oh, good. So you know him? Hmm. That's a question, isn't it? I thought I knew him. Maybe I was wrong. Were you very close with him then? No. No, we weren't close. And I want nothing to do with a man. Hey, Elizabeth, may I borrow a snowmobile key? Depends. Are you going to steal it? <laughs> Not this time. I think I'd have trouble fitting it into my carry-on luggage. Here's the key. We have tourists take them every year. I'm watching you. Always use the provided seatbelt. Snow looks soft until you land head first. What do you think happened to Magnus? The current rumor is that he fell overboard. Do I think he is drowned? Is that what you're asking? I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Some people think he ran off with some old treasure. It may be a coincidence. It may not. Dagny doesn't think it was a coincidence at all. So, you've been talking to the others. Just a bit here and there. Even if the treasure were real, Magnus wouldn't be able to find it. He's completely oblivious. To the world. To everything. The man lives in the cabin in the mountains. Too lofty to concern himself with human affairs. Bye-bye. Bless.
This definitely looks like the original helm. Someone made off with some of the decorations, though. Only Dagny and Magnus have radio keys, apparently. This radio looks new, but the key's missing. It won't turn on. Missing batteries, I think. like Dagny's been doing a little sleuthing of her own. Is that a password? They look really happy. I think I need to get all the wooden sections pressed down. Magnus seems pretty insistent over this long spill thing. Wow, an antique desk, and it's in pristine condition. <laughs> Time to break it open. I need to figure out the rules being used in each row here. Sounds like he's gone through some troubled times lately. Is this a code? 
I bet Magnus was in the middle of solving this. Looks like one of these words is scrambled within each row and column. Okay, looks complete. What can I use this for? So, Dagny's trying to keep a low profile. I wonder if that's why she called me instead of going to the police about Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> 